So here we are at our snow removal and repo slash towing business. We we acquired a few new assets here, a few new vehicles. So we have our C70. It's a single axle. We threw uh, we threw a pretty nice plow on it. Not too bad. We aren't going to be using that. We might be using that today. Then I bought two a new haul and I threw duels on the front. Then we have the boss box plows. These things are insane for clearing. The box plow did pretty much all this. We had half this still covered. The plows like the ten wheel, six wheeler. Those don't do too good because I, like the box plow is just amazing for cleaning things up. So we got King here in the uh, Ford F250. He's going to be running that. And then we have Pickleball Gaming. He's going to be in the six-wheeler with the, uh, I believe it's just the V-plow. And then me and John Deere are going to be in the bosses for right here, the New Hollands. And what we're going to do is we're going to run around real quick, knock out this house. We're just pretty much just going to go as a team of four. It's going to it's gonna work out pretty good. We're going to go as a team of four. Then, uh, or maybe I'll just have, jo I might hop in the ten-wheeler actually. And then we'll take out this, uh, we'll help out this factory here. And then Casey's and then that co-op, which I'm going to do with the 10 wheeler because I think it's going to work really good with the side panels. So let's get to it, guys. Go ahead. Start working on the house and everything. I think, honestly, maybe just have King do the house by himself or John Deere. Okay, John Deere's the, no, just have King do it because it's like one little driveway in the sidewalk. So let me go run over to the 10 wheeler. I'm going to take out this. And it'll be good for just maybe starting the first push or the first like I don't know the first plow so actually King might need to pick a ball maybe help out King maybe that's more of a we we threw all of our snow over there so is the is the f-250 struggling yeah it is yeah it, it's probably just too much snow King you might need to turn your plow. there you go pick a ball all right then John Deere's there they go all right they're moving and then I'm not sure, I'm trying to find the driveway. Not really used to around here. Let me go drop the side panels and I'll try and mark off this. So when John Deere comes in and he uses the box plow, he doesn't run over anything. He shouldn't be. All right, let me switch the side panel. Nope. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift up that left one so we don't blow a bunch of snow into the uh, front door there there we go is this all right that all right that's where we're gonna have to pretty much put all of our s snow there all right john deere's coming down he's gonna knock that out so quick it's not even funny the uh the wheel loader is just so nice and if you guys are enjoying the 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 company here the new business snow removal let me know by please hitting the like button it tells me that you guys are enjoying it and i'm gonna keep making videos because it's i really like this and now that we actually have employees i bought a few new vehicles it's gonna be a lot of fun look at how much snow look at the pumps guys this is uh we aren't messing around here all right let's go check out john Deere. he's hung up on something that boss plow is just too big yeah john Deere, you might need to pick that up don't start until it's over here don't you run over the fire hydrant all right so he's gonna start knocking this out it's honestly a fairly easy uh job i was just trying to mark out some places so that he doesn't like smash into a fire hydrant but uh, apparently i need to mark it a little better than that so i'm gonna come around here clean this up just a bit all right maybe take one more pass as he's trying to get ready here we'll show him I mean, it is a lot of snow too, so I d like it's not easy. All right, then I'm gonna do one push here, put both side panels down. This is where I get a lot of snow moved very quickly doing stuff like this. All right, there's the grass. Maybe went a little too far. So, if, oh, yeah, he buried me. I was gonna say, oh, he buried me. So I'm gonna get out of his way. I'm pretty much, yeah, I'm pretty much just in his way right now. A lot of this big parking lot stuff is totally meant for the uh, for the wheel loader. So we'll let him take care of that. Those guys are knocking out the driveway. Taking a little longer than I thought, but smaller sometimes isn't easier. All right, we'll let John Deere do that. Let me just see if I can clean up this road just a bit. And then what I'm going to do, let's, let's see. 
So I'm going to come in here. This is a... What elevator is this called? The Horizon Co-op elevator. And we're going to pull in here and start plowing this out. I can, I'll can i drop down my other side panel in just a... There it goes. All right, so we'll drop this down. <laughs> I have no idea where the cement starts and ends. I'm just going to have to feel it out. All right, so there's some vacuums there. Then we have the scales right here. So you can imagine there's got to be concrete leading up. I don't know how it's going to go. We're going to try our best. We're probably going to scrape a lot of grass, a lot of dirt. And you'll see it like in the springtime, but that's kind of funny. All right, they're both down. There we go. All right, this is probably perfect width. Um, I pretty much just got to feel it out. I'm sure it's almost everywhere that need. Oh, not there. All right. Well, I thought for sure. There we go. And then once I get this done, I'm pretty much just going to park this over here and then go grab the other box plow. Start helping out John Deere. Start knocking this place out as well. All right. Yeah, that, that was kind of tough. There we go. So I can't go in there, but uh, we'll, maybe we'll go around. Nope, that's all grass. Shouldn't have done that. All right, so I'm taking the lap around the uh, the elevator here. And then Pickleball came over with the six-wheeler. So we're starting to knock this out. Really getting it cleared out. And I think King's bringing over it. There he is. He's bringing over the wheel loader. So I wonder the best way to, to get around and just look at things. Like, this is my tip. All right, there. He is with the wheel loader. Okay, it's going to be kind of tough. We might need the, the F2. We will need the F250 to get into the little nooks and crannies. That's kind of why we have it. But we have so much equipment now. Everything's going pretty good. Okay, so I can actually see what's what. Um. Okay, I got an idea. When I was flying up there, I could see what was grass here. Let me actually look again. So this is all cement. That's grass. And then there's like a little road right here. So if you look, you can see what... Oh, wait. Yeah. There's actually not that much clear out. But where's my wheel loader? All right, King. I'll take that from you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, if you want to take the 10-wheeler and start running around the highways, that would be a thought because we're starting to run out. And we're going to start moving down the highway and going discovering new places helping out people who are stranded lost uh who are snowed in so that's what we're doing right now we are literally just we're plowing the whole entire map and it's kind of fun to do all these i mean there's other snow removal companies too but these local guys we're helping them out first there we go the wheel loader is just a beast it clears it out like so good so clean and then, all right, here's the road I was talking about. Let's see. I don't know. Is it, it I mean, let's see. King, uh, no, I got it. I got it. I was going to say. Yeah, the wheel loader is probably the best, but not... When I'm when I'm pushing this right now, it, I don't. It's not the best. Here, King, come over here. Use that ten wheeler. Or not, King. Whoever's in the ten wheeler, yeah, maybe it is King. Come over here and then go straight and then take a right before the fence and take a lap here. Uh, put both your side panels down and your front. You have to press like X a few times or G and then X to lower it. So go take that uh, road I was trying to clear out. There we go, guys. So we're going to run a little time lapse here of us clearing out the elevator. And then when it's time for us to pack up and move on and we get Casey's done, we will... Uh, I'll catch up with you guys from there. So enjoy. All right. So we are done with the elevator here. Let's go check up on Casey's. Make sure that's getting done. I think he's struggling a little bit in the wheel loader. I, I guess I can't really tell. John Deere, let's go help out this guy real quick. We'll get Casey's done and we'll be on our way heading down the road. I think what we'll do is have one wheel loader and then everybody else in a in a plow truck just because I mean the wheel loaders are gonna take a while to move from place to place and 
Although they're really nice and stuff, they aren't going to be good, like, going down the highway. So we got to be careful with that. If somebody wants to bring down Pickle, if you want to just keep that there and then bring down the 250. Or the C70, something smaller to get in between here. There's no way we're going to be able to get that with the New Holland. So there we go. We're going to try and clean it up, but yeah, we're going to need something small to get in there. There's no way. <laughs> no way. So hopefully you guys did enjoy that time lapse. It was kind of fun doing that. And we're making pretty good money doing this. We're getting a lot of accounts done, lots of things done. When you hire employees, things go really quick. All right, there's Pickleball and the C70. Look at that. That guy's so small compared to the New Holland, but we're working together. That's the main thing. Yeah, pick a wall. If you want to just try and get inside, honestly, there. Uh, get inside and maybe start pushing the uh, the middle out so that we can take care of that. That would be perfect. All right, so we got two, uh, two wheel loaders going, then the C70, and then we got King just shoveling, cleaning up a few things, throwing down salt on the sidewalk, really important stuff so nobody slips. And then he'll, like, clean around the pumps better, too, once we... Get the big equipment heading down the road but look at that pile that's a probably a little too big of a pile but there's nowhere to put this snow i have no idea where to put it probably should have dispersed it a bit better but it's kind of tough you just got nowhere to put it so i'm gonna clean up this road here casey's is turning out to be pretty good just a you know a look you know like a few minutes worth of down right now and we are on the road heading west we're pretty much just gonna point her straight and clean up anything that we can as we are driving here all right this already here's our first uh place that i wanted to clean up just a bit better i pulled in here the other day but we're gonna have uh for sure have pip um uh, pickleball come in here and for sure the jaw deer wheel loader will take good care of this place in like two seconds so i'm just gonna knock it out and then once the wheel loader gets here we will uh at least i'll head out and keep going down the road then the wheel loader will clean this up and then we'll move on from there so should probably pick up my side side panels because it gets kind of tough i guess not really kind of it just kind of makes it easier if i have them down but then there's situations where i really want them so it's kind of tough doing this stuff obviously with this kind of truck you, you really want that box plow coming in here and taking care of business so pickleball's knocking it out pickleball let's head out and or at least pickleball maybe stay here and help out john deere john deere let, wait for me to to back out here and then i'll get going and then me and i think it's king will keep going down the road and then you guys will catch up with us. So perfect. That's kind of how we're going to run it. And just go down the road and knock it out. Four man crew gets a lot done. All right. So King and I are heading down. Those guys are knocking it out. It shouldn't take too long. That's a pretty, it's a good size farm, but I already had it halfway done too. So they're just cleaning it up. I'm running down here real quick. And then let me go and turn on. I was going to run down this road real quick, maybe. Um... All right, there's a farm down here. We better run down it real quick. I need some speed. It's tough taking the corner here. You don't get a lot of speed. If you get snow underneath you, it's it's really tough too. Um, and then King, uh, if you want to uh, take out the right side there, I'm not making it as clean. You want to put down your plow there for the right side. That'll be perfect. So that'll clean it up. And we're just hauling down here. And then we're going to go clear out this farm real quick. Really small farm. Pretty big house is bigger than the shed. Usually it's the reverse. The machine shed is way bigger than the, uh, than the house. So we're going to clear that out real quick. I'm going to run down here, clear out the whole entire road. And then I will come back. I'm sure King will have started on the, uh, on the house already. All right, so me and King are knocking out this house. The only problem with my truck is his side plows. If it's slanted just a little bit, it really, really struggles. And we got a lot of snow in front of us here, too. All right, there we go. 
Push, baby, push. All right, how was there not? What? Okay, there was no. Oh my goodness. Okay, there was no. I thought for sure there would be a lane right there. So the lane must come out here. It's just like a dirt road. Didn't mean to snow plow their. Uh, what am I trying to say? I didn't mean to snow plow their, uh, their grass there. But it's not the end of the world. So pretty, really small place. Just pretty much got it done right there. Uh, the rest, they should be able to clean up. All right, let me go ahead and fold up these panels here. All right, there's pickleball. I'm heading out. There's a, just a little bit of cleanup to do. Um, just little stuff. I'm going to keep heading down the road so that when these guys are done with the house, they can keep driving because we do not have all this, uh, all these highways cleared. So I'm going to lift up my plow. I'm going to start heading pretty quick down here so that I don't accidentally, um, so I can get the highways cleared for them pretty much. All right, that little spot there is a little rough, but it's not the end of the world. All right, we'll clean up this side here too. So I'm just going to fly, kind of lightly drag my plow just to, you know, clean it up just a bit. But I'm pretty sure the clear road, like, wait, maybe I did go further than that. No, I don't think I went too far down. I think this is going to turn into snow. Yep. All right. Let's drop those side panels, baby. Here we go. We're tearing into new ground here. Uh, there's some there's some pretty cool forest area around here, too. All right, what the heck? Did I not have my plow down? All right, there we go. We're moving and cruising. We're nailing this. So if you guys want to go ahead, follow me, and then we're going to go to the next place we find. I'm just going to go straight until we find a farm that needs, uh, I guess, saved. Is that a good word for it? Or cleared out? And then we will... Uh, it's getting pretty late. These guys need to get home, and then we'll probably head back. Okay, there's a co-op down there. You know what? Maybe our goal will be head down to the co-op. All right, so I just got to a stretch there in the road where it was, like, cleared off. But I think it was just blowing snow that, got that like, cleared itself off. So those guys are right behind me. I started to see them in, in my rearview mirror. So I think what we're going to do, take a left, head down to that elevator. Uh, Okay. There we go. It's kind of hard to follow the road sometimes on the weird turns. All right, we'll head down here. But yeah, they are right behind me. <laughs> They're like right behind me. So we'll keep going here. All right, so we're pulling in here. What I'm going to do here, let's see. I'm going to have King, if you want to clear the road. um, You know, here, I'll come back and get it. King, maybe just follow me here. And then clean up or make it wider. There we go. Okay, we have pond. Be careful for the pond. We'll go around the scale. Hopefully there's concrete here. Thank goodness there is. And then, okay, this is a pretty big place. So we're going to have to have the wheel loader down here. All right, what am I stuck on? I have no idea. There we go. All right, we're free. I'm pretty sure it's just a like a change in elevation. That's pretty much what does it. All right, we'll keep clearing this out. But yeah, we're going to need the wheel loader down here. This is honestly a pretty big place. Well, oh, that's so cool. It's just so cool. Snow plowing in this game now. Here we go. Push, baby, push. All right. She, is she maxing out? The side plows just drag on the ground. So I could be going like, see, I can't even back up. Because the ground's like slanted like that, I can't adjust the side plows. Which is kind of a... A minor kind of flaw in the mod, but I it does get the side plow, so you get a perfect plow. All right, so I got free of that. Let's see if we can wrap around here. I'm sure this is like an exit for the trucks. Um, yep, right around here. There we go. Keep clearing it out, and then it looks like a wheel loader is arriving. Right on time. There he is. There he is perfect oops no don't don't go on the grass don't go on the grass there we go so i mean i can take a few more laps here but eventually we need the box plow in here to actually get some snow out and pushed and like picked up right now we're we're, we're just pushing snow we aren't doing much more than just pushing snow that's not going exactly where we want it I mean, it does, but it's just so much more efficient. So I'm going to 
wait for him to come down here so we don't run into each other and then i'm gonna slip out of here finish up that road and i think that's gonna wrap up today's episode guys thank you so much for watching hit the like button we're gonna have more snow plowing episodes coming out new mods new vehicles that we're gonna buy for the company because we're absolutely killing it right now and we need to spend some money and i'll see you guys all in the next one